Welcome to the PAMF How-To video series. I'm Samantha, the PAMF coordinator. In this video, you're gonna learn how to enroll a management unit into PAMF. Be sure to check out the web hub for additional resources such as the participant guide, quick guides, and instructionnaires, which will tell you what your role is as the PAMF participant. First, map the perimeter of your management unit using a GPS device. If you have a smartphone or tablet with wireless capabilities, the ViewRanger app is free and works well for this purpose on both Apple and Android devices and even allows data collection while offline should you find yourself in a remote area. For detailed instructions on how to use the ViewRanger app to enroll a management unit, check out the instructions in Appendix A of the PAMP Participant Guide located on the web hub. Record the perimeter of your management unit with your GPS device as you walk or drive around your management unit. Make sure to only map the perimeter of the area in which you plan to actively monitor and manage Phragmites. We recommend flagging your starting point so you know where to stop to complete your management polygon. Next, you'll complete the enrollment questionnaire. Start by checking for a stem density gradient, where Phragmites is more dense in one area of the management unit than others. If you notice a stem density gradient, record the cardinal direction. If no stem density gradient is apparent, look for a hydrologic gradient. This really means that there is a noticeable transition from drier to wetter soils, or even standing water. And again, note the cardinal direction. If there's neither a stem density nor hydrologic gradient, just record the cardinal direction of the longest transect running through your management unit. You'll also need to take note of your management unit's hydrologic regime. Does the entire site contain standing water for the majority of the year? Is there not typically standing water, but the soil is usually wet throughout the year? Or is the site fairly dry year-round? Now take note of your management unit's habitat type. Select all the options that seem appropriate given your knowledge of the management unit. Options include wetlands, agricultural lands, roadways and ditches, ponds, and many more. <laughs> Lastly, look for Phragmites that is established outside the perimeters of your management unit. If there's Phragmites immediately outside of your management unit borders, it could spread back into your site even if your management is effective, so we want to make sure we capture that in your enrollment paperwork. Don't forget to document the state of your management unit as well as the surrounding area. These pictures are going to be useful to you in the future when you complete your monitoring reports. 